So imagine if you have a loop of wire, just one loop, okay? This wire is going to have what we call a cross-section area, and I'm going to denote this as S. Um, we're going to say the number of turns it has is one turn. And if we apply a current through this coil of wire, okay, current have these properties where they generate what's called magnetic flux um, density. So using the right-hand rule, uh, or actually let's consider my current going the other way so that the right-hand rule is consistent. Um, so let's go in this direction. Okay. Make sure you like the video. Check out more videos in the link posted in the description below and subscribe to my YouTube channel.